He's gonna be picking up, but apparently he's gonna be very happy on the Helker. Rebo, they'll be locking in that claw early on. And they're looking the like, uh, Brain Force is looking like a team that wants to go for fights earlier on, just so that Kimmy won't be able to scale up properly. And I think the call for going for Claude and Lolita in order to synergize well with Hellkurt and Kaya and Kagura, I think that was a good call here by Brent Esports. And Execration opting to pick up Harley though, what do you think about that? That's a great counter to the early game threat that apparently Brent Esports is showing right here for us. Because earlier I thought Brent was going to go for the late game because of the, the ban on the Brock, but apparently they are the ones who want to take this earlier on. Picking up the Hellkurt, fast response around the map, same with the Claw. Early level 4 kills is a really big threat here for this squad. Add that on with basically free support with Yuji on the Kagura. That's just kill threats all around the map for this team. And Execration, they do have some sort of kill threat as well. Zapdos going to be picking up the Leo more. Jeff Cutie forever on that Kimmy can deal a lot of damage as well. Supported by the Minoan Fury, supported by the Hurricane Dance, they might just be able to catch Ren Esports uh, with their pants down here. Yeah, and again, Execration looks like they're the huge team fighting team that we already kind of uh, expected from Bren. Execration is usually the team that wants to play early game. The roles have been switched up in this matchup. And right now, it's going to be the matchup between an immovable force and an unstoppable object. Who is going to win here? Execration versus Bren Esports? That's a big know. question, man. And we are going to be going into the game one for the Mobile Legends Bang Bang Professional League Season 2 Playoffs. Again, a big thank you to our elite sponsors, Ayala Mall, and our legendary sponsor, Smart. All of this presented by Moonsoon. What do you think is going to be the scoreline here, though? That's a question. Scoreline here, I am already expecting... Uh, I don't want to give any pre predictions here, but I'm expecting a 2-1 for Brand Esports. Uh, at least a minimum of two months for Brent Esports, but let's go into the match. First game of the day, ladies and gentlemen, Brent Esports versus Execration. And immediately, we're seeing Execration just teaming up together and making sure that nobody gets picked off earlier on in the game in order to bring, give Brent Esports an advantage here. Yeah, and again, Brent Esports is playing a lot safer than I thought they would. Apparently, uh, the late game plot is what they want to focus on here. Early rotations on the cra the turtle area is what the play here for Ren Esports is going to be. Yeah, Claude here needs to really keep going for the jungle, get the camps as much as possible, farm up in order for him to start being a threat because with the added with the added bonus of Hellcurt just being present in the map, they can just pressure all the lanes all at the same time, but immediately yep. here... Yep, again, the turtle going to be the one... Uh, the Crab, rather, going to be the one to be prioritized here by Brent Esports. They always want to play over that gold advantage. That's been their trademark ever since the first season. They're not slowing that down at any point here in the first match of the game. Of course, you have to secure the gold in order for you to get item, but immediately, Whoa! a first button by Pak Bet there. That, that was, just changes the uh, uh, the landscape here real quick. Yeah, even the cameraman didn't actually expect that to happen. Neither did I. A bit of a slip up here for Yuji in the mid lane. A lot of uh, this is going to be a huge threat later on. This Alice is going to be very essential. It is central to the end to Lard. All their ultimates will have to be compounded with the ultimate from this Alice in order to be effective. And Pakbet looks like he's playing very, turtle very aggressive. They soon. want to secure this turtle early on, and they are in a very good position to do so. They really are. Zapdado caught in a bad spot here. Whoa, that's a almost, lot of damage. Almost gets taken out there, but the majority of Brent Esports here are already on level four. They can go for a fight. Yep, Brent Esports looking like they're being pinned up against the wall on all sides of the map. This Kimmy pick. Is just paying off dividends here for Execration. Yeah, Coco has no response over to the top lane right now. We are going to see a turtle take here with Brent Esports contesting this from Execration. Slowly but surely, they're trying to figure out how to take this. They're just dwindling down the HP of the turtle here. Numino Blast being charged up, connect! Oh! Oh, to and Jeff Cutie forever, and he's gonna go down! Yuji gets the first kill, and that engagement, Lord, 
is trying to zone that out. He does have the middle of Fury. Not just fought just yet. And Brent Esports is going to be forced to fall back. Of course, Brent Esports is still going to go back for the counter engage. Goku is in great position to free it. Goku gets one. Can he get more? He goes back in. And Zabdu is actually in the wings. He's trying to get his hands in the rebo. Can he do it? I don't think so. He's under tower. He gets it. Oh my god, that's a beautiful gameplay there for Execration. But their HP bars are actually getting whittled down very, very quickly. That was a good engagement by Bren Esports, but Execration just managed to do well. Instead of just giving up their lives, they just decided to delay as much as possible, go back, and just try to pick off somebody. That's what Zapling did, and then tied up the scoreline. Nobody in a significant lead at this point. Yeah, and that's an execution trademark. Go for the very risky play just to get some amount of gold into your pocket. And it paid off dividends for them in that team fight, barely keeping up with a gold though for Bren Esports. We're going to have to figure out who's going to be getting the turtle first because with the latest adjustment with having three turtles in the game, that might just change the tide of battles here. Teams are going to have to focus on objectives here, but speaking of objectives, top lane looks like it's going to be contested by Execration. Instead, it's going to be the turtles. Yep, a lot more priority here being given by Execration though. Hayes is still in the wings waiting for a huge moment to go for the Newman Blast, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. He gets there locked out against the wall. And Rebo is down from the count. Minoa Fury gets connected onto Yuji and Pain, and they are gonna have to fall back here. Meanwhile, the bottom lane, Zapnu going oh, for Coco. Nice around. duke there by Coco. He's going left and right. That's I don't know crazy. what's going on with he's, this man. He's playing around in the bottom lane against Zapnu. The rest of Execration, though, they're trying to go for the backup. D. Yan, just way too late to the party. Four members being allotted by Brent Esports, while well, the top lane though gets pushed out. Look at that micro outplay by uh, Coco. It was really just there. That was Zapnu beautiful. had no answers whatsoever. That was just massive, but meanwhile, that's already a top turret going down. Yeah, that's the power of the Kimmy pick. Early taking down of the turrets is just so easy for the team that has the Kimmy. Just, and that's the reason why this is gonna, gonna get picked a lot more in this tournament. I That's what I predict at least. Yeah, this is a, already going to be a very interesting uh, tournament. A lot more open-ended choices. Nobody is going to just go for the meta. Everybody needs to go for the off-meta picks in order for them to have the upper hand. Again, Kimmy is one of those big off-meta picks that we have to watch out for, and that is showing. Execration is showing why that is going to be the case here. So much damage output, especially if you can protect it for a long period of time, which is exactly what Execration is doing right now. Kimmy really does start to hurt. I don't know if uh, Claude would be able to keep up with the scaling that Kimmy has in this game alone, but we'll find out as time goes by. We are already in the mid-game stage of the game. Bottom turret is going to fall down here by Execration, and I think there's going to be a retaliation. Down a pounder onto Pain. That hurricane that's going to connect to him. Dark Knight Fall is going to be connected. Pain is going to go down. Middle oh, of the middle blast, though. That's a huge no middle blast with a follow up on the uh, Yin Yang overturn. It's going to be way too late, though. Revo, though, he's wreaking havoc right now on the front lines of Execration at the end. He's going to be victim to Haze. And, and Yuji is here for the follow up on the Lord. Here's Jeff Kitty forever, though. He's trying to go in for a little bit of backup. It's going to be enough to stop Brett Esports on their track. But that gold lead right now for Execration. I did not expect this. I did, that's a thousand gold lead that we did not expect happening at all. We've never seen that happen during the regular season. And this is the first time we, I think we are seeing an engagement Oh here. my and god, Jeff Kitty Forever, he gets taken out right off the bat. And again, you know if you're going to be stopped right there by Brent Esports, it is time to go on macro mode. Brent Esports prioritizing the turtle, getting that buff, adds up so much damage to the attacks. And of course, that will be stopped right here by Hayes, though. They get read by like a book. Secured will be going over to Brent Esports. And Dian is actually forced to use a Hurricane Dance. That is going to be at the cost of their turret. Sure, they do get one out of that engagement, but they're losing this engagement over the middle lane. Pac Bet is just going to get erased. What was that? That was a, such a weird placement for this Alice in that stage of the game where he cannot really get out. 
and Bain is on the Kaya. He is controlling the tempo of this game right now. And Coco getting so much free farm on the bottom side of the map as well. Execration is not in any position to answer this. We're seeing a huge rotation from Execration though. They're gonna try to defend this. Kaya, I haven't seen uh, good Divine Judgment just yet. Phantom Seed is gonna be called here. And I think they're just gonna distract them from pushing any further. Yep, again, here is a signature brand esports. Where do they get this goal around the map? They are getting pushed back over and over again, but they still manage to get a lead. That is just out of pure rotation. Apparently, they are showing that off right here as well. And that is how they work. Brand esports focuses more on the rotations in order to get for them to get the objectives, get kills, and get objectives. And that is really a trademark that other teams should start incorporating into their playstyle. Yeah, they've been given a whole season. They've been given the whole of season one as well to study that up. Apparently, Grand Esports is still the master of the craft, no matter how much the other teams try to emulate it. It is just from the masters themselves that they are able to execute it as beautifully as this. It's paying off for them immediately. Things are looking really bleak here for Execration. Sure, they got a turn advantage, but is it really counting towards the window? It doesn't That's look like it. That's the point right now. They picked the Kimmy because they wanted to get the early game advantage. And where is it right now? This Kimmy is starting to look a lot more softer as this game is progressing. Because as they are starting to get uh, a lot more sturdier, they can withstand the Kimmy Blast. They can, uh, they can dive onto him a lot easier. And I think that's a power of the composition right here. And I think that's something that we're going to have to watch out for. Because Brand Esports, they, are, they look like they're uh, going to start their uh, steamrolling session. <laughs> I think more. that is going to happen. We might see a road roller here. You know, let's compare these two uh, marks mini here. We got Claude. We got Kimmy. Claude is scaling really better at, you know, as soon as we reach the late game stage. Yeah. We're already at late game stage and they are starting to not have any answers at all when he comes in. Yeah, because I think Coco showed us earlier just why Claude is so much better in the late game compared to Kimmy in terms of being a marksman because of the mobility, because of how well he can reposition himself when he's put in a very bad spot in a team fight. And I think that is just the innate advantage of having a fault in your composition. Yeah, and the only real answer that they have for the slipperiness that Claude is, they just have to rely on the Minoan Fury by exactly. large. They just have to rely on the Hurricane Dance. And they do need those for big team fights. They can't focus those just on Coco alone. Yeah, and again, Coco is going to be such a huge tool here for Brand Esports later on. I think Payne is, that's the number one priority here for Payne. For the meantime though, the end. The Look, end he's going to get kicked off. It. Coco going to try to dodge it out. He's going to hold in the face of Execration instead. Yeah, what dodge are you talking about? He's going hard on the Zabdu. He gets taken out. Revo is on the killing spree. Hayes is just blocking everything that Jeff Cutie forever can throw out. And Brent Esports is looking so on form right now. And right now, they're going to be converting it into a Lord take. And it's really, really bleak for Execration here. That was a bad engagement. It was nice to go for the Minoan. Fury, but there were no follow-ups from Ben or Jeff Cutie forever at all. That's exactly what I was looking for earlier. I mean, Coco was so exposed in that bottom, in that very tight corridor. So I was a, a bit waiting for Execration to pull the trigger on that. Maybe a bit of hesitation cost them so much gold in that exchange. And right now, they're already nearing, knocking at the doors of Execration here. The Tier 2 turrets are going to go down. Look at the experience difference there. That is huge. Right. That is a huge swing. Like, once Bren had the advantage... Zephyr, though, has Rebo, but that Dark Knight Falter is going to be triggered. Rebo goes for the bling and manages to escape. And wow, that's just really masterful. That is, again, masterful use of the Hellcurt. And again, showed to us by Rebo. Zapnu going to get taken out right off the bat, just like that. Picked off in no man's land. And I think that is a huge mistake here. Again, Zapnu trying to overextend when the rest of his team is just safely snuggled inside the base. And this is looking like the end here for Execration. They're getting boxed in all throughout their base. And uh, it's going to be very difficult for them to get, find a way out. Man, Lard just needs to make sure that his Minoan Fury connects to a lot of people and make sure that the rest of his team is going to follow through with it. And that's the only way that it can come back here. 
possibly go for a split push, try to distract Grand Esports from pushing in. But that is realistically the only way Execration can do this. Exactly. In Execration, they're waiting for that window. They're looking for that window. It is starting to look lower and smaller and smaller. Coco in the middle of the fight. He is so brave right now. Fighting off. Turret goes down the mid lane as well. Zaldu is taken out. Kimmy is the last remaining hope. Jeff Cutie forever. He's trying to push off the minions as best as he can. But Rebo, he oh, has the defense. Defense forever, Lord. Bakbet is going to be taken off guard here, and they're doing spending all they can, and they're actually able to defend this as much as they can, but they don't have enough firepower here. Dian diving into four people, that is not a wise decision there. Resurrect being popped there onto Pain. Execration will oh. be <laughs> almost wiped there. Lord just doing what he can to defend this. For now, yep. they defended the aggression, but as soon as the minions pour in, it's going to be game over. Yeah, 13 minutes in. All of the inhibitor turrets are already destroyed. Yuji's on the mega kill. Coco again in the middle of the fight. He is non-stoppable in this one. And Zabnu, he's trying to make something happen for his team. Because that's not going to happen anytime soon. Game one goes 